Hi Woodland, today on Crafting with Kara, we're going to make a very special craft benefiting the Peyton Heart Project, a worthy cause with the goal to spread awareness about teen suicide and bullying. Last October, a 13-year-old boy named Peyton took his own life after years of being harassed and bullied. The Peyton Heart Project was named in his honor. The idea behind the project is to leave yarn hearts out in public places with a positive saying such as follow your dreams or your life matters. Hearts have been distributed all across the U.S. and even in countries around the world. You can join in on the movement too. Today we are going to learn how to make simple yarn hearts that you can then spread around in public places for people to find, letting them know that they matter. All you will need is yarn, scissors, tape, cardboard, tags that go with each heart, which we will find out how to do later on in the episode, and a hole punch. To begin, you want to make a template for your heart that you can then trace on the cardboard and cut out. So you can draw a heart onto some just regular construction paper, and you want your heart to be kind of round and squatty because you don't want too much of a pointy end for the heart or else it's going to be hard to wrap the yarn around it. So. Make your heart, and then you can cut it out. And now you have your heart that you can then trace on the cardboard. So you can use some cardboard. I just found some scrap cardboard from an old cracker box I had and you can trace the heart onto your cardboard. And then cut it out. Now you have your cardboard heart, and this is going to be the base of the yarn heart we're going to make. So now you want to take some yarn, any color is fine, and you want to take a piece of tape and tape your yarn onto the cardboard to make sure it's secure for when you start wrapping. You want to start covering your heart in the middle with the yarn and then gradually start working your way to the sides of the heart until it's completely covered. Once the cardboard is completely covered in yarn, like this, you can cut off the end. But what you want to do is leave about five inches at the top so that we have room to attach the tag with a positive saying. So you want to take the end and loop it through a piece of yarn on the heart so that it stays intact. like that, and then your heart is ready to go. So now, for the purpose of the Peyton Heart Project is that with each heart goes a positive saying with it. 
the project has specific tags for you to attach to each heart. So if you go to facebook.com slash the Peyton Heart Project, you can find that PDF file and you can print them out. There's two sheets. One has a positive saying with hashtag Peyton Heart Project. The other gives instructions for the person who finds the heart that says, you found a heart, it's yours to keep. Please take a photo of it and tag hashtag Peyton Heart Project on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So what you want to do is be sure to attach both of those tags to the heart. You can either print them out front and back, or you can just print both out and attach both of them to the string on your heart. I printed these tags out front and back. So you can see that there is a saying on the front, and in the back it gives instructions for the person who finds the heart. So you can take a hole punch, and there's a little dot on the back that kind of tells you right around where you should hole punch. Like this. And then, just string it onto your heart. Tie a little knot around it. and voila, you have made a heart for the Peyton Heart Project. Now what you can do is go to a public place or maybe a park or a bench and set one down to where someone will be able to find it. When you go to a place, you only wanna put one or two in one area to be sure that one person doesn't wanna take all of the hearts. So that way you can spread them out just one or two at a time. And now you can scatter all your hearts you make. Feel free to make as many as you like and spread the word that kindness matters. Stay tuned for next week's episode of Crafting with Kara, where we will make back-to-school picture frames. Happy crafting, Woodlands, and remember, kindness matters. You are beautiful, so pass it on.